Hello. Um, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Go on uh, Ubuntu Linux and uh, how you can get programming and be productive in Go in a few short moments. The first thing you need to do is to go to the Golang site, golang.org. You click on Download Go, and a couple of clicks before you get to um, get to this page, where you have a list of different um, installable versions for Go. Uh, what you can do uh, is to extract or sorry to download the zip file that features your particular version of um, uh, uh, Linux. Mine is actually 64 bit AMD, so I click that and then I can click this further to download that. I already have it locally and in my downloads folder, so what I can do is I can double click that and extract the, the Go files. So let's just we can see that it's got a Go folder there. We're going to come back to it later on once we set up a couple of other folders. Now we can go back to the home folder. Now this is the way I prefer it. You can try this yourself or choose something else that you want. I prefer to create a folder called coding in my uh, home folder. And so we've got coding and within that I pre prefer to keep all my other programming language and other stuff. So for now I'm going to create a Golang folder. Now into this folder we can then just drop in our Go uh, files. And that's pretty much um, what you'll have to do to get the um, SDK or the development tools installed. Now, we can then go into that in the terminal, cd um, coding golang go, and this has all the files for your uh, go tools. If you go within the bin folder, you can see the, the go tools, and here we can run go version to see the version of go that is running. So that's cool, we've got that far. What we can then do is go open our bash rc. I'm using the bash shell and add that path to the um, the global path. So let's do a dollar path and then add slash home slash vj slash coding slash golang um, dot go slash bin. So with that now, yeah, uh, if you do that and then source that file. We source our dot bash rc. Uh, we should be able to do go version from anywhere. The next thing we do is to create a couple of folders in the Golang folder itself. This is the way I prefer it. You can do it differently. Is want to create a folder called Go Path. Now Go Path um, is uh, a path that uh, is required by Go for certain other things that we'll get to later. I also prefer to create a folder called Trials within which I'll be doing most of my code when I'm doing my examples and other things. Um, having had that, let's go back and edit our dot bash rc to add two other variables, two other environment variables. One is called um, go root and go root points to our um, go folder without the pen, so it's the root of our go where we install the go tools and the next one we need to do is to add go path which points to the new folder called go path that we created this is going to be used later by um, by go so let's just do that in early and leave in there and now that we source it we should be able to see the environment variable set for go that's uh, pretty much all you need. We've got path, go root, and go path. Now let's go back into our um, trials folder, which is where we uh, want to do a small example. And let's create a small uh, file called hello world.go. In this case, I'm just going to, I've already created it, and let me copy it from slash temp hello world.go to here. Uh, let me show you what it is. Uh, it just prints out hello world. You can do the same in yours. Let's do that. And now if I do go run hello.go, it's going to run exactly fine. So uh, just to summarize, what you need to do is to download the, the zip file or the tar gz based on whether you're working on uh, Windows or Linux or whatever. And uh, extract the go folder from that and put it in a folder that you know. I prefer to do it in my home folder and under coding. And by doing a folder called Golang, I, have something like coding slash python coding slash java so i've got coding got golang and within that i can add the go folder uh, add that path 
the bin path uh, within Go to the path so that you can run the executables like the Go command line tools. Um, also create two other um, environment variables, one called Go root that points to the root of your Go folder or the Go um, tools that you've installed and one other thing called Go path. I prefer to uh, call it Go path here. I create a new folder called Go path and add that to um, uh, the environment variables. Having said that and uh, having sourced that, then you can create uh, any kind of Go files uh, wherever you want and run it using the Go run tools. Uh, that's all you need to do so, um, to be uh, programming in Go. You don't need any special editors and most of your uh, editors and other tools that you use in other places work really well with Go. Uh, I love Go. hope you do too. Come back for more videos. Thank you so much.